if something changed in your life that would make you feel worthy, I want you to feel worthy before that change in your life. Hello and welcome to the Pacific Channel where you learn about the law of attraction, how to manifest anything you want, meditation and more. In this video, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks more about worthiness and what it means and how a lot of people don't feel worthy and what they should do about it. He also talks about how feeling worthy or not feeling worthy is a program that's been embedded in us and the difference between becoming worthy versus overcoming unworthiness. He also talks about how some can overcome it in meditation, but not in the awakened state. And he gives us a simple definition of what worthiness really means. Without further delay, let's listen to Dr. Joe. We have people that are chosen by a random computer because they have a health condition. And when they are invited to be a participant in our healing studies when we lay them down and get them in the right state one of the things that we address with them susan is really being worthy to receive the healing now these people some of these people have really serious health conditions some of them have a health condition that interferes with their life some of them have a minor health condition but it's enough that they'd love for it to go away but the computer selects them and they lay there and they start thinking Oh my God, I think, I think there's probably someone else that should be laying here. It shouldn't be me. It should be someone else. They shouldn't be here. There's a lot more sick people out there than I am. I shouldn't be here. And they, they actually wrestle with the idea that they're being gifted something. While the gift is happening, they're feeling unworthy to receive the gift. And a lot of those people, you know, they say, I just got so good at taking care of enough people or giving to other people or supporting other people or doing things for other people that I just really realized that I never take the time to really receive that I just really don't receive in my life. I never even thought like, how does that work? Because I can't get present enough to be worthy to receive whatever the gift is. And so that resistance that's taking place for that person speaks volumes about what they are worthy for. So in this sense, a person who is finally able to relax into their heart, you know, to take a few minutes and really, really change your state, that unworthy is a program that has to do with actually thinking that you could actually ever get or receive what you want. And you don't have to spend a lot of time analyzing that, but there are certain thoughts I'm sure that you think, Susan, that go along with, I am unworthy, because that's a pretty strong affirmation. I'm sure there are certain things that people do when they feel unworthy, how they behave. And now this isn't just about doing a meditation to make unworthiness to go away. This is about overcoming unworthiness. Now, this is a really important thing because you overcome unworthiness. You truly do overcome it and you're worthy to receive. Life is going to change in really profound ways. So there are certain behaviors that we all do when we feel unworthy or we think those unworthy thoughts. And then that feeling of unworthiness, what I do is to feel where I feel it in my body. Like, do I feel it in my gut? Do I feel it in my heart? Do I feel it in my energy? What is it when I feel that way? I just want to break down all those individual sensations that I have because emotions are the language of the body. What's the word? So where is it in my body? So I want to know what those sensations are so well that I can stay aware of them. And if I start sensing them in my day, I know that's unworthiness. Okay, now this is a really big game here because it takes an enormous amount of awareness and consciousness to stay conscious instead of unconscious or aware instead of unaware and back into that inside the jar. You can't read the label when you're inside the jar. You got to keep getting outside the jar. But if you keep winding up back in the jar, nothing wrong with that. You just got to remember that that's not where you want to be, right? So the person who's starting to really change and say, okay, I can't understand why I haven't overcome my unworthiness. 
well, maybe you even could potentially overcome your unworthiness in your meditation, but the rest of your day, you're back to the old self, then you haven't mastered it yet. You got to get so good at doing it with your eyes closed that you got to be able to do it with your eyes open. So now, what does a worthy person think? Well, if you don't know, go find a worthy person or read a book on somebody who did something amazing. You know, worthiness is not entitlement. It's not importance. It's not exclusivity. It's not any of those things. It really is a state where you're okay with you, that you're actually okay with you. And you feel worthy because you've overcome something. So how would a worthy person behave? Find out. Find out or imagine or create what that would be like. And rehearse how a worthy person would behave and rehearse how you would behave if you truly were worthy. How would you stand? How would you breathe? How would you move? How and what would a worthy person demonstrate in their lives if they were worthy? They would certainly not be feeling separation or lack, that's for sure. And if you could feel, now this is the challenge, it would take a pretty vivid imagination, but we all have one. If something changed in your life that would make you feel worthy, I want you to feel worthy before that change in your life. I want you to feel that feeling before whatever event that is that would cause you to feel worthy because a lot of people are waiting for their life to change out there so that they could feel worthy and get what they want. But in fact, we would have to feel worthy over and over again to actually become it, right? So then it may not be, Susan, 100% full-on worthiness. This is not how it works. You practice becoming familiar with that feeling. What is the closest feeling that you have to feeling worthy? If it's happy, if it's joyful, if it's grateful, if it's real appreciation, really, really appreciating the person, the experience, the moment, whatever it is. All right, and you're able to feel that feeling, bring up the feeling, then, then let it go, then bring it up again. Then let it go, then bring it up again. And get so good at remembering what it feels like that you can bring it up on your own. That's the game here. And then what moves you to an emotional state? I don't know, is it a sunset? I don't know, is it music? What is it that moves you into an elevated state where you feel a little bit more unlimited, a little bit more expressive, a little bit more free? Whatever that is, Start adding that to your environment so that it supports that feeling around you, that it gets you into that state. Now, you may think, oh, this is witchcraft or your friends are going to think you're crazy. Well, what's the alternative? I don't know. You got to start living in that state. You got to practice with your eyes open. Go out and do a walking meditation and walk as if you are it and condition your body emotionally in that future. Well, how bad do you want it? It's no longer just about doing the meditation and think, now that you did the meditation, you're worthy. No, it's about showing up and overcoming the resistance of why haven't I overcome my unworthiness? And people say to me, well, what's wrong with me? And I say, the only thing that's wrong with you is that you got to get beyond the thought that there's something wrong with you. That's it. Just get beyond that thought. Is there a belief that you have that says, God, I don't really think that I ever could overcome my unworthiness. Is that an unconscious, subconscious belief? Or what is it that you're affirming every day that I can't overcome my unworthiness? Well, that person who's walking around saying that is not the person who did the meditation that overcame their unworthiness. And I think when the rubber really, really begins to ride the road is when you, you actually have a hundred reasons in your life to feel unworthy. And when it's the hardest, I think it really matters the most. And so you practice that practice that every day. You practice the overcoming that state, the familiar and overcoming that resistance that keeps you in that pattern. And so the person who's walking around in the state of saying, I can't overcome my unworthiness is actually creating more reality than the person who did their meditation because that's one hour or 45 minutes going against the rest of your day. And we got to really start practicing with our eyes open. And that's what the walking meditation really is about. So walk in that state and practice it enough times until you're not trying to create worthiness. You're overcoming unworthiness. You're overcoming that person is actually what creates the becoming of the person who is worthy. It's the overcoming process. It's not about 
becoming worthy. It's about you working on changing yourself enough so that you are worthy. That's what it's about that. Just like the person, it's not about their healing, it's about what they change about themselves in order to be healed. When it becomes about that, you'll make great strides in your own personal growth. So did you see the difference between becoming worthy versus overcoming unworthiness? There's a difference. The reason is because you were born worthy. You had nothing to prove and you have nothing to prove now. If you are here, then you are worthy. So it's not about becoming worthy. It's about overcoming the program of unworthiness. As Dr. Joe stated, worthiness is reaching that state where you are okay with you and you've overcome something. Notice how he doesn't want you to wait for anything external of you to feel worthy. He wants you to feel it first and feel it regardless of conditions. It's about unconditionally loving yourself. It's about feeling it first. Then getting, getting really good at filling it on command whenever you want to. If you want the mystical, if you want to heal yourself of anything, if you want to heal your life, you must practice living in the state of worthiness. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you feel so inclined, please leave a comment below. And now go create the day or night that you want through the power of your thoughts and feelings. Thanks for watching.